welcome again. In this tutorial, we're going to learn about how to calculate the uh, mechanical advantage, velocity ratio, and the efficiency of a hydraulic uh, press system. So the figure on the board is the hydraulic uh, press system. We got a load of 600 Newton, and the cross-sectional area is equal to uh, 200 square centimeters. Then on the effort, in this case, is applied at this particular point. Then we got the lever, which has got a pivot, and the cross-sectional area of this cylinder is equal to 5 cm square. Now, mechanical advantage of a hydraulic press system is equal to... Mechanical advantage is always calculated by the formula load over the effort. Load over the effort. Now, the load applied here is equal to 600 Newton. The effort here we don't have. So in this case, we apply the principle of transmission of pressure. Uh, that is the Pascal's principle. Pressure at region 1 is equal to the pressure at region 2. The pressure at region 1 is equal to force. That is 600 divided by the cross-sectional area, which is 200 squared centimeters. The force of 600 newtons is equal to the force on the uh, slave. That one we got the, the force F2, I call it F2, over the cross-sectional area, which is 5 squared centimeters. F2 is equal to 15. F2 is equal to uh, 15 newtons. So the force, the upward force on this other side, the upward force here, F2 is equal to 15 newtons. So now, to find the effort applied, we apply the principle of moment. So we got the 5 volts at this particular point. When you have an upward force, it's like a reaction force. Then you got the effort here. So in this case, principle, the sum of the clockwise moment must be equal to the sum of the anticlockwise moment. And the principle of moment, uh, the sum of clockwise moment from a point must always be equal to the sum of the anticlockwise moment from the same point of action. So now, in the lever, the upward force produces the anticlockwise moment, and the downward force, which is the effort, it produces the clockwise moment. So the clockwise moment is the effort applied. So I call it E multiplied by the distance from the pivot. The pivot, we have 70 plus 30, that is 100 centimeters, is equal to the anticlockwise moment, is the upward force. This one is 15 uh, newtons multiplied by distance from the pivot, which is 30 centimeters, is 4.5 newtons. So now we got the effort and the load. So the mechanical advantage is equivalent to load. The load is 600 over the effort, which is 4.5. Gives you 133. 133.3. So that is the mechanical advantage of the hydraulic press system. Now, to obtain the velocity ratio, velocity ratio of the hydraulic press system is equal to R squared over the R squared. So the bigger radius squared over the smaller radius, which one is equal to the bigger area over the smaller area? The bigger area over the smaller area, which is equal to A1 over uh, A2. So A1 is 20, uh, 200 over the A2, which is 5. So this one gives you 40. Now you come and find the velocity ratio of the uh, the lever now. So this is for the press. So the velocity ratio for the lever is equal to the distance moved by the effort over the distance moved by the load. So the distance moved by the effort is the effort distance from the pivot, which is equal to 100 divide by 100 centimeters divide by the distance move uh, by the load so the load is 15 newtons uh, divide uh, that is that 3.333 so that is the velocity ratio of the lever now to get the total velocity ratio total velocity ratio vr total is equal to velocity ratio on the lever multiplied by the velocity ratio on the press the hydraulic press system 
So this one gives you 133.3. So this is the ve total velocity ratio. Now to get the efficiency of the machine, efficiency is the ratio of mechanical advantage to velocity ratio expressed as a percentage. Mechanical advantage is 133.3 over velocity ratio which is 133.3 multiplied by 100%. So the efficiency of this given machine is equal to 100%. So I just subscribe for more updates. I will be doing more questions on this given uh, YouTube channel. Thank you.